In the world of S-space, what exactly does parallel calculation mean? Taking a step back for a second, there are actually lots of things that can be done in parallel in S-space. Parallel means to use more than one CPU or core at the same time. Back in olden timey days, servers only had one CPU, so most things were done in serial, meaning one activity at a time. Most computers now, even things like laptops, will have more than one core, more than one CPU, and in some cases multiple CPUs with multiple cores on them, so we can launch lots and lots of simultaneous activities. Just some of the things that S-Base can do in parallel include data loading, calculating, querying, and exporting of data. Serial calculation is where S-Base got its start. This is still the default, oddly, even though computers nowadays have many, many more than one CPU. And what this means is that when you calculate a cube, whether it's a formula or something big like an aggregation, by default it uses one CPU. So if you go monitor the CPU usage percentage-wise on your S-Base server, you'll see that by default it's using one, even if your computer has 60 or 128 CPUs. There are also some things that you would want to be parallel in S-Base that the complication of the formula just gets so interdependent that it decides, I give up. I can't even do this in parallel. I'm going to insist on doing it in serial. Although there is a way around that now, starting with 11.123.500. Parallel means to use multiple processors, multiple CPUs, launch multiple tasks at the same time. Now, technically, we can't tell it, hey, go use eight CPUs. What we could do is say, launch eight simultaneous activities, or in the computer world, we call them threads. And then it decides if those eight threads will each go one per CPU, or maybe one of the CPUs isn't doing much, it'll launch two of the threads on that CPU. The operating system controls which CPUs and which cores on the CPUs handle the various threads that we're launching. Now, in the world of S-Base, you can set the number of threads to use at the server level, at the application level, at the database level, or even really specifically at a calc script level itself. In general, we want to use parallel calculation where we can. It's going to use more and more threads, and in general, our computers have more and more CPUs, and we don't want them just sitting out idle. The problem is that generally only really straightforward calculations like aggregations or simple formulas can use parallel calculation. Now 11.123.500 added a new feature to a calc script called fixed parallel, where even if you have something really complicated like an export or a complicated formula, you can wrap a fixed parallel command and you can tell SBase, hey, you can do these various threads simultaneously, they're not going to actually step on each other. If you want to see if your parallel calculation is actually happening, you can go to the S-Base application log for the particular application that you're running. There'll be a line in there that looks something like calculating in parallel with, that will have square brackets, and it'll show in the middle of that how many threads you're actually launching. Now be really careful. If you're running a planning application, you might have, let's say the day budgets are due, every single one of your business users simultaneously running a calculation. Well, if in your business rule or calc script you had the parallel calculation set to use eight CPUs, normally that might be fine. But if you have 200 users all launching eight CPUs, it'll be launching 1600 threads, and I seriously doubt your computer actually has that many. So be really, really careful if it's a business rule launched by a business user, especially at the time when you want everything to be really fast, meaning the day budgets are actually due. Parallel calculation isn't limited to just block storage. We also have calculation in ASO that happens when we're materializing upper levels. The default for this one actually isn't one. It makes the assumption you're going to have at least two CPUs. So the default for parallel calculation on ASO is a massively impressive two instead of one. Now be really careful because the aggregate storage cache is divided between each thread that you launch. So if you increase calc parallel on an ASO cube, you're probably going to want to increase the aggregate storage cache as well. So if you set the threads to 10, you might need to increase the aggregate storage cache by 5 to 10 times as well.